Toyota presents Let's Go Places on the Recruiting Trail as we hit the road to meet some of the nation's best prospects. This week, we're stopping in Franklin, Georgia to take a look at Florida Gators incoming freshman, Emery Jones. New Florida coach Dan Mullen knew he had to find a quarterback in the 2018 class, and he found the one he wanted in the quiet country town of Franklin, Georgia. That's where he met All-American QB Emory Jones of Heard County High School. The 6'3", 195 pounder is classified as a dual threat, but he's very comfortable sitting in the pocket and picking defenses apart. A lot of people say, okay, Emory Jones, dual threat guy. You know, I, I see a pro-style quarterback that can run and get out of trouble. I think I'm a pocket passer first, but when things break down in the pocket, I'm the type of quarterback that can take off running and make some out of nothing. One thing that's expected out of star players, whether they play in big cities or small towns, is leadership. And that's an area where Emory is making a lot of strides this year. I keep running downfield, but bend it, inside. I love it. I just love like making others around me better, and that's part of being a leader. And I just, just play the best that I can and just make the others around me play their best and just get it going. You know, physically it's all there. He's humble, he's a worker, he's passionate about the weight room, he enjoys it. So, um, you know, who's to say who's gonna be the guy at the next level? They're all special, you know. Emory's special to me, he's special to us, and, and obviously he's an elite athlete. But, you know, the only thing he can control, and that's gonna be his work ethic, learning, you know, developing. And to me, if he does those things, then it, I don't care if he plays a snap day one at, at any college if he's doing the right things. While Florida already has some quarterbacks on the roster for Jones to compete with, his athleticism and arm strength should get him on the field sooner rather than later in Gainesville.